there are three productivity apps you should not use. And I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna upset a lot of people by making this video. If you're easily triggered, click off, especially because you should not use ClickUp. Have I been killed yet? No. Am I going to be killed for saying that? Maybe. Jury's out. Listen here. It's not good. Oh. Okay, it is very good. I mean, the functionality is actually pretty nice. The app itself is um very functionally sound from a uh, theoretical point of view. Oh, what does that mean? It's got chat. It's got docs. It's got project management. It is one app to replace them all, Dimitri. What are you talking about? Have you ever looked up on Twitter how many reports of bugs there are? Watch this. Click up. Bugs. Latest. When I was at ClickUp, we always had new bugs come in. Automation rise at 1 a.m. Time zone. Uh, San Diego. The user in Australia. That's a whole day late. ClickUp having to respond to bugs. I agree that ClickUp is buggy. Always seems something broken with it. However, if it weren't for the bugs, it's a great project management platform. Retweet this 87,000 times. I love ClickUp, but the amount of bugs and issues that happen with it are ridiculous. Can't share any screenshots as I don't have access to the account anymore, but ClickUp did send me follow-up messages after I reported a UI bug. I really love ClickUp, but it used to run a lot smoother. I used to recommend this app all the time, secondary to Notion. Now I don't. Why? Y'all need to fix your bugs. The money that you got from the investment is not going to good use if it breaks half the time. Number two, Basecamp. Basecamp stinks. All right, I had to use it at work. I'll tell you what, if you have an embed that basically looks like it's coming from a Notion media player on your homepage or your website, probably sucks. The founders of this company have a pretty interesting book about work culture and how they don't really actually have a really hard working, crazy kind of culture. Not that they like don't work hard, but like they, they think there's more to life and work and there totally is, but like to an excessive extent. You go to the jobs page here. They, they have a four day a week business, which sounds pretty cool, huh? It's weird, they're not hiring anybody at 37 Signals. They used to have interns, seems odd. How long has this app been around for? 1999 in Chicago and you got no open roles, huh? And you only have 34 employees. Ay, ay, ay. A hundred billion dollars valuation. What year was this from? Oh, 2019. Like before every good productivity app got used. Or made, yes. It takes you five minutes to use Basecamp to realize it stinks. So don't, don't use Basecamp. Number three. I'm going to make a lot of people mad. Click off. Just don't watch Apple Notes. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't want to die on camera. But I might die if I let people believe anymore that this is an option for those of us who use Windows computers. Listen, listen, listen. If you have a Mac, you can use Apple Notes, okay? But let's do a Google search. What percentage of computer users own a Windows machine? 76% from last July. Okay, okay. Which means that 70% of the market doesn't use a Mac as their primary operating system. Therefore, what I'm saying is not outlandish. I am speaking to the masses. Apple Notes on the computer looks something like this. Wait a second, what happened here? They actually made a decent Apple Notes app. Who would have thought the second I tried it? Oh, you can't right click. Oh, oh, well the functionality doesn't work. Ah, no, I thought I was gonna be able to switcheroo this video. I mean, it doesn't look like dog water, but it's still not good. Come on. iCloud definitely did get a UI upgrade, but it's still not fun to use on Windows. And as much as you know, Apple will try to make changes to this. It probably won't catch up. I mean, drive's cool here, I guess. You got the drive here, I guess. You got reminders here. All right, they're leveling up. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go, Apple. You have an iCloud computer app that's like, meh. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. You can create an email like this, create an event. Hey, let's go. I don't know, Apple Notes still kind of sucks two out of 10. I mean, you can kind of draw on here, but it's just not the same. Just like you'll never be the same again until you watch this video right here.